The first kill that you can start or you can do in Nigeria with about 8,000 or 10,000 Naira and make profit about 50 to 60,000 Naira is what I call market business or market days. Market buying and selling or market days. There are some markets where they sell farm produce in Nigeria. And it occurs in most places, most parts of Nigeria. I have traveled to um, I traveled to Calabar for an event with some other people. On our way back, we passed through somewhere either in Edo or Delta, and uh, I think it's a gari market. This red gari, the Ibo gari that they sell, and they were trooping out. I think at that point we were passing, they were bringing it from where they have roasted it to the roadside. They have a tent, they have shades by the roadside. And I'm telling you, the gari that they sell in Lagos for 2,000 Naira, we bought it in that place for 700 Naira. We bought it in that place for 700 Naira. Now that place is like an asket of a do or delta. I'm not too certain. It's an asket of either a do or delta. Now we were traveling, it was an asket. If you are residing inside of a town of Edo, you can come to that asket, buy it at 700, and go into the same Edo town and sell it to them at 1002. And you make a profit of 500 Naira on just one. And you definitely you are not going to buy one. So you can buy up to with, with 7,000. You buy into 10 places. 10 times 500. That is 5,000 Naira just for that day. Just for that day. What I'm saying, it's spread across different places in the country. You go to the north, you have similar things. You have similar things. You go to the outskirts where those things are cheaper. Then you bring it in to the town. You may be saying, I don't have a shop. You don't need to have a shop. All you need to do is to have goodwill. And you, your character and your, your, your antecedent in the past will make people to trust you or not. If people can trust you, you can tell them that you are going to have a supplier of gari and then or supplier of dried fish or supplier of onions or supplier of tomato. You tell them you are going to buy it in bulk and you disburse it. So instead of them to go to the market and buy and be buying what they can, they can pull their resources together and you go and get it and then you make you take out your profit and then you share it out to them so you can do this with less than ten thousand naira. you can do this with less than ten thousand naira, and you make profit of five thousand so at a go you make five thousand you get another one you make another five thousand get another one make another five thousand get another one, make another five thousand if you do that ten times you have made already made fifty thousand naira. And some people are there, seated as graduates, BSc holders, HND holders, OND, NCE. And what are they doing? They go and find themselves in a second, in a primary school, secondary school, and be teaching, and be earning twenty thousand, thirty thousand, early in the morning. They cannot go to the market, the outskirts, early in the morning. But early in the morning, before seven, they have left their houses. They've left their houses to go to work. And they will not leave that place until about 5 p.m. The whole day is already taken up. My friend, wake up. Even if you want to do and make do that job to get experience or for a reason best known to you, it's good. At least those people who own those schools will also get employees. But what about your Saturdays and Sundays? Saturdays especially. Sunday, Christians will go to church. What about your Saturdays? You can use Saturday to go to the outskirts, get some goods and uh, some products, farm produce especially. And then the same place you are working, even your proprietor or proprietress, you can sell to them. Your co-teachers, you target, you can give it to them. When it's time to collect salary, they'll give it, they'll pay it to you. And you are going to make even perhaps more than your salary if you are serious with it. And even you can even reach out to other schools during break time. You can reach out to other schools or during closing hours. You can reach out to other schools. You can reach out even to parents that I'm selling diesel. You can get it. And it doesn't disturb your teaching in the class. So 
This is just one business that you can do with about 10,000 Naira or less. Buying of products from the outskirts, especially food products, and selling it inside of the town. I just use Gary as an example. The products can be yam, the products can be anything. You go to the outskirts where it is cheapest and buy it and bring it to town. And you are going to be surprised at the profits and at the deal you are going to make. I'm going to talk to you on the next video about this same market but in another fashion. So stay tuned and watch it. Bye for now on this particular video.